The power trunk is a jack of most connectors landing block between a DC power supply and your DIY projects. It's like having all these connectors tethered to your power supply. So if you've got one good PSU but are stuck sharing it between multiple projects, this might be the easier way to swap between them without having to unplug finicky power setups between prototyping phases. The design is centralized around one connector, the turret banana jack connector. It's also the main polarity indicator, so be sure to install it per the silkscreen mark. Just like your test leads, the turret connector quality matters. I would not cheap out on this. These alligator terminals are actually 9 volt battery mounts with the post drilled out. If you've ever had an alligator clip slip off and touch something it shouldn't, well that's the reason for this hardware. One useful feature is this 2.1 by 5.5 millimeter jack. The left side is center positive while the right side is center negative polarity for all those dumb manufacturers that do this with their products. You can grab a 2.1 by 5.5 millimeter to whatever size DC jack variety pack on AliExpress. And if you pair that with a male to male extension, I'd get the 18 gauge ones. This is a pretty handy power cable interface. I also suggest printing this base to keep the bottom parts of the turret jack from touching things they shouldn't. I did try an earlier design that had two buck converters on it and also had reverse polarity protection using this chunky diode, but this seemed more like feature creep than useful design. So this one is retired, but if you're into that, you can continue with the KiCad project source files are linked. Also on this power distribution topic, I made this barrel jack distribution board. The power input lands at the top screw terminals. The center barrel jack is always on while the left and right quad jacks are controlled with a switch respectively. And an LED indicates the switch status. If you tinker with a lot of LED and light projects, this might be something for you. Assembly is required. You do have to solder it. There's no thermal relief on any of the through hole parts. So your soldering iron should be able to output at least 80 watts and maybe put this board on a preheater. The files are open source, so please check the link in the description. I have only a couple to sell. It's not even worth mentioning, but it just helps me recoup some costs in the design process. Thanks for watching.